এই মুহূর্তে রাজ্যসভায় বক্তব্য রাখছেন তৃণমূল কংগ্রেস সাংসদ সুখেন্দ্র শেখর রায় আমরা সরাসরি চলে যাব সেখানে that the ownership and control of the material resources of the community are so distributed as best to subserve the common good. And Clause C says, you are aware, Madam, very much. Clause C says that the operation of the economic system does not result in the concentration of wealth and means of production to the common detriment, unquote. Now, what is happening? What is the scenario of Indian economy? Inequality has gone to what extent? I may, I may kindly be permitted to refer a few points from the Oxfam report 2023, which was released in January this year, 15 January this year. The government does not accept that report, but we, we put very much reliance on this report because of the practical situation in in the country. Number one, the richest 1% in India owns more than 40% of the country's total wealth. Shame. Number two, the bottom half of the population shares just 3% of the national wealth. Shame. Number three, Indian government recently cut taxes on corporation while introducing a centralized tax system, that is GST, that led to increased indirect taxation of households. A one-time 2% 2 tax on billionaires' entire wealth put support to rupees 40,423 crore for mal malnourished individuals for the next two years, and you are giving concessions to the corporations, corporates. Next, female workers earned only 63 paisa for every one rupee a male worker earned. Scheduled caste and rural workers earn significantly less than advantaged, advantaged social groups. This is part, very much pertinent, Madam, this point. Billionaires in India witnessed a 121% surge in wealth since the pandemic began. Until November 2022, this is going on, the surge of their wealth. And at, during the pandemic, it was 121% surge. One particular Indian billionaire, whose portfolio includes energy companies, has seen his wealth soar by 46% in 2022. 64% of the total GST came from the bottom 50% of the population in 21-22. <coughs> Total number of billionaires in India increased from 102 in 2020 to 166 in 2022. India's 100 richest combined wealth reached 660 billion US dollar, that is, in Indian currency, 54.12 lakh crore. This is the <coughs> economic inequality which must be resisted as per the dictum of the Constitution as enshrined in Article 39 B and C. In India, seven to TV channels, seven to TV channels reaching over 800 million people are owned by one particular billionaire. In India, a one-off tax on unrealized gains from 2017 till 2021, from just one billion year, would have raised 21.95 billion US dollars, enough to employ more than 5 million Indian primary school teachers for a year. Such a huge economic inequality, and we are chanting the mantra of Amrit Ka, Amrit Mahatsav, and Amrit, Amrit, Amrit. Sir, Madam, forget about Oxfam report, because government does not believe in that report. But UNDP report, in regard to Asia-Pacific Human Development Report of 2024, released on 15th of January this year, what does it say? Only three, four bullet points.